Um, well, I mean, nowadays, I'm, it's just all workouts. You know, I'm not in school. I'm uh, just working out, you know, waiting for the draft. But right after, right after the uh, bowl game, I went down to Texas, and I trained down there for a couple months, getting ready for the senior bowl and for the combine. Um, went to the combine. Well, there I was, I was training in Texas. I was training three times a day, you know. So I wake up in the morning, have breakfast at the facility, um, work out, have lunch at the facility, work out, you know. Keep, yeah, I mean, we did, yeah. And I left the facility probably around five o'clock. So I got there maybe eight o'clock in the morning. Um, did that for for three months, you know. In between was the Senior Bowl and the uh, and the Combine. At the Senior Bowl, we uh, man, it was it was just like like uh, like fall camp, something like fall camp. More exciting though, you know. We did a lot of one on ones, you know. We got to compete a lot, you know. So that made it that made it more exciting. But um, there too, it was nonstop, you know. It was it was uh, it was practice. It was meetings, you know. We had to pick up the playbook in a week, you know. They made it they they simplified it for us, but. We, it was still kind of difficult, you know. Um, after that, I went to the combine, and that was even worse, you know, with the meetings and the drug testing at four o'clock in the morning. And man, it was ridiculous. Uh, I, I definitely enjoyed it though. Once you got on the field, it was just football. You know, everything outside of that was hectic. Can, can you describe? Is it would surreal be a good way to describe how this experience has oh, been? Definitely, definitely. You know, once you get there, you're meeting. You know, people that you, coaches that you see on TV every week on ESPN. You know, um, and it's it's very nerve wracking. You know, I was I was really nervous first one. I went to my first one. It was with the uh, Jets. You know, and and I met the head coach and the and the, the GM, and the OC. You know, all those guys. I was in there nervous. My heart was racing. You know, I'm sweating a little bit. Um, they were just asking me questions about myself. You know, about about college. And uh, once we started talking about football, they put the film on. Once we started talking about football, it's fine. You know, it's just just ask me uh, basic concepts and stuff. You know, and I was cool with that. It's in most people's when they go on job interviews, a lot of it's you know kind of out of their control. I mean, uh, you can say all you want, but they, they, we don't have most people don't have you know game film or uh, aren't able to work out every day and get stronger, get bigger, get faster. Knowing that, like the the thing that's been your dream since you were you were a kid is all on you uh well i mean what's that like to feel that you know because it's within your grasp um man I, I can't even explain it to be honest you know i've been playing this game since i was about i want to say six years old you know me and my brother we grew up playing it you know and all my friends that i you know that i'm still friends with back home we grew up playing the game and it's just amazing you know to get the opportunity to to continue playing it and, and to get paid you know, to play a, a kid's game, you know, get paid a fortune to play a kid's game, and it's amazing, you know, and I'm really looking forward to it. Now, in this in this process, you've had, you know, your your, your boys next to you, alongside you, Jordan, Colin, Colby, uh, Andrew, etc. Um, you know, what's that like, kind of in sharing this ride, this journey with, with them that you guys, that you've been with, guys you've been with for the past few years? Uh, like I said, exciting. You know, it, it makes it better because you got guys around you that, you know, that, that went through what we went through. You know, all the fall camps, you know, all the all the hot days in the summer, you know, all the all the workouts, with the tough workouts with Brian, you know, the ones he had us going through. And, you know, it's, uh, it's just exciting to, to be able to share, you know, and talk about it, talk about, uh, you know, what's to come and, and, and what we did in the past. You and Jordan specifically, I mean, we would always talk to you guys about going up against one another and how mm -hmm. he said you were the best he faced and he wanted to be the best that you faced. Now that you guys have the opportunity to potentially do that at the pro level, what do you what is what are those conversations like with you and him? They take us inside maybe the joking and the ribbing. Uh, we we still just talking about meeting up later, you know, later down the road and. Uh, it just just like we like we did when we were here, we talked about getting out on the field. Like, oh, first day of camp, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. You ain't ready, you know, stuff like that. You know, just joking around. But uh, we're, we're both, you know, very excited. You know, that would be a blessing to be able to go against Jordan on the next level. And it seems like you guys, nothing's changed between you guys. Just always pushing each other, positive, especially down the weight room, doing drills. Oh yeah, that's definitely how we got here. You know, so why stop now? You know, uh, like I said, when we first stepped on campus, me, him, and Rashad, you know, were the main ones pushing each other, you know, and and uh, fortunately, you know, me and Jordan were in the same position, so so it kind of helped. Now, what's um, learning about the, the business side uh, of this, uh, of the business? I mean, mm -hmm. people talk about, oh, it's a business, oh, it's a business, but 
it's probably something that you can't really understand until you're in it. What have you learned and have you been surprised about what you've learned in this process leading up to the draft? Uh, as far as the business side, I haven't I haven't really learned too much, you know. I just know it's it's, you know, down and dirty, you know, when you get there they they uh I mean, just looking at, at different different uh, contract deals and, and, you know, people getting cut, you know, people with, with successful seasons, you know, being cut, being traded, you know, and I feel like that would be tough, you know, because I couldn't imagine, you know, having to go to a different team from, from, from Oregon State, you know, being at Oregon State, have to go to another team. And, you know, just from the bond that, I, that I've got with these guys, I feel like that would be tough, you know, but it is a business and it's something you have to live with. Now, um... What are what are you hearing specifically now? We're getting closer. You've mm -hmm. had your your visits, your workouts, etc. Uh, do you have a you know a hot and cold feeling as to what might happen? Uh, to be honest, nothing at all. I'm just really keeping an open mind, and I'm I'm hearing everything from late first to to early fourth, you know. But I wouldn't be surprised if I went fifth, sixth, or seventh. You know, I'd still be excited. You know, as long as my name is called, I just want to get on the field and, and show what I can do. As a, someone who really spurred on, uh, you know, the, the turn of the program last year as a leader, mm -hmm. what are your message to guys still in the program that you're kind of leaving behind? Because now someone's going to have to step up and fill the void left by you and Jordan. Um, I feel like after, after my junior year, uh, we had that 3-9 and nine season, you know, the work ethic from everybody kind of exploded. You know, it kind of, it kind of, you know, went to a different level. And ever since then, it's, it's been the same, you know. So I would just tell them, just keep doing what they're doing. You know, keep working hard and, and, and don't stop. Um, last one for you. As, uh, I guess it's like, what is it, a week away? Mm -hmm. Just about a week away now. Um, you, your sales pitch to Mar of Marcus Wheaton to, uh, say you're talking to a GM. Uh -huh. um, you know, what are you bringing to the table, and you know what are they not seeing maybe on film? Uh, I'm to be honest. I'm just uh, I'm determined, you know, and and I'm excited. I love the game, and and I'm gonna give all I got, you know, every play, you know, whether it's in practice, whether it's fourth quarter of a game. I'm I'm gonna give all I got, you know. So, so uh, to whoever does pick me, I'm I'm gonna make sure they're right, you know. I'm gonna do whatever I can to make sure they're right.